okay, I got a request to give credit for all these paintings that are in the background when I'm doing my recordings. This is in my music studio, and all the guitar cases and all the paintings on the wall were done by my lovely wife, Paula. Plus, we have walls around the house yard, and they have paintings all over them also. So she enjoys old musicians, old wrinkled musicians. Evidently, that's why she's with me. Hi again. Uh, yeah, we uh, had a question about those paintings in the back and on the guitar cases. That's all work done by my lovely wife, Paula. So she's got paintings all around the walls on the outside uh, of our yard. So uh, she really gets into uh, painting old musicians, old wrinkled musicians. Who'd have guessed, right? Look at me. Okay, today we're going to talk about being motivated. Uh, how to keep motivated. Uh, let's admit it, you know, practice after a while, it can be a little boring. Uh, especially if you're doing the same thing over and over. Um, you may not feel like you're accomplishing anything. Um, that's a question that you know bothers you when you're in rehearsal and going, I'm not getting anything done. Okay, uh, you start to skip practice. Remember, you're supposed to do it every day, uh, even if it's just for 15 minutes, and you have a set time, uh, even 15 minutes or a half hour right after dinner, let's say. Or you feel like you plateaued, you're not accomplishing, you're not getting better at what you're trying to do, uh, be it keyboards, drums, guitar, accordion, tambourine, whatever. So um, let's, we're going to address those questions for you. Um, here's some of the solutions, some of the things that you can try. Uh, first off, change up a bit. Um, let's say you're just working on blues music. Just to change things a bit, get a little fresher, try some rock or some country. Um, I know that uh, I love Keb Mo. Uh, that's a blues artist that uh, has some incredible music. He's got a pink album I like to work on. Uh, try learning the songs from that. But after a while, uh, you keep working on those songs, they start to become stale to you. Uh, at that point, I like to change up and maybe go to some Jimmy Buffett, completely different type of taste. So, uh, and all of a sudden practice becomes pleasurable again. So give that a try, changing up uh, the types of music or the artists that you're working off of. And that might freshen it up a bit for you. Okay. Connect up with fellow musicians. Uh, and you're a musician if you're working on music with a, an instrument, you're a musician. Or if you're singing, you're a musician. So. Uh, try connecting up with a different one, uh, a, a friend that uh, has common interests. Uh, go over to uh, his or her house or have uh, them come over to your place and work on a couple songs together. You will be surprised at how much that accomplishes when it comes to the taste and the feeling of the music again. Um, different musicians give you a different aspect of it. it makes it a lot more enjoyable. Also, another thing is change the, ti the time of day, maybe. Uh, if you're doing it every day after dinner, uh, hey, why not start the day off? While well, coffee's perking, do they still perk like coffee? Uh, while well, coffee's perking, uh, maybe have your, your practice right there. Uh, do 15 minutes, have your toast there, your coffee, and uh, work on whatever your goal is that for that day. Okay. Um, here's an idea. Have your better half grab an instrument and play along or sing along uh, on a song or whatever. Um, that makes it interesting, uh, makes it fun. You guys can laugh at each other um, or enjoy what you're doing. And remember, you're recording all the time. So, okay. And that's an important thing. Keep recording and saving the recordings. Um, head over to the open jam. Uh, maybe on a Sunday afternoon or some evening during the week where they have open jams and they have them all over the place. But uh, even if you're not going to get up and play with the other musicians, 
just seeing different people get on up there and try different things, uh, it just adds a little bit more energy to what you're trying to accomplish. All right? um, you'd be surprised. Maybe next time you, you'll jump on up there and again record. Because if you're getting a little bored and you feel like you're plateaued, go back to some of those other recordings that you did earlier. Maybe a week ago, a month ago, okay, two months ago. Listen to those recordings and then listen to the one you just recorded. And I think you'll be surprised at how much you've accomplished in that week, that month, or two months. All right. Um, the next video might be of interest to you. Uh, I'm going to show you how to make a small fortune playing guitar, drums, keyboards, tambourine, whatever. Uh, that'll be uh, the next video that we touch on. And uh, if you've liked what you heard, again, hit that subscribe button right down there. And uh, hit the bell. Uh, this way uh, you'll be notified when the next video comes out. I'm trying to come out every Monday and Thursday with, with uh, these. Also, there's comment lines down below. If you have a subject you want me to touch on, or if you have a question, write it down there. I'll check it out, and uh, I'll, I'll try to help you out. All right? So until next time, keep rocking.